we are going to introduce a brand new segment that I'm doing with my partner, producer Alex Clark, and I'm really excited about this. We're calling it hashtag grand goals, where we're going to highlight the amazing things that grandparents are doing out there. And we're kicking it off with Janet Lively, and she has six kids, 11 grandkids, and three great grandkids. But what makes her so special, amongst many other things, is she just graduated college at the age of 75. Yeah, I know, right? Take a look at what her whole family had to say about her. Hi, Drew. I wanted to nominate my grandmother for your segment, Grand Goals. At the age of 75, she just graduated college. She's such an inspiration to all of us in her family. Way to go, Grandma. I love you so much. Mwah. I love you, Monkin. And I'm so proud of you for graduating. Love you, Grandma. Love you, Mom. It was fun to be her cheerleader because she was always our cheerleader growing up and putting all the kids first. And we're so proud of her. She's such an inspiration for the girls to watch after going to school and working so hard in something she wanted. Way to go. Congratulations on graduating. It has been such an honor watching her go through this whole process for the last eight years. Great job, Janet. We love you. Good job. Love you. The grand matriarch, Joy Janet, is joining us now. That's a tongue twister. Janet is joining us. Hi, Janet. Are you there? Yes. Oh. I'm sorry that that got to me. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, Drew. I, I'm seriously so excited, but having oh, having on my kids I give their feelings, and they have been such a support and so excited and especially about being on this show thank you so much oh, oh that took me by surprise seeing all those kids with that recording thank you so much well what an incredible legacy that you have built I mean you know so you went to high school and then you know what inspired you to go back and get a degree at 75? Well, I have always wished I could go to college. You know, it was so funny. When I was in school, they were having a survey about, are you a first, um, first generation college graduate? And I go, I don't know how to respond to that because I'm the last generation. <laughs> you know, all my kids went before me, but my parents didn't go. But anyway, I love learning. I, I've enjoyed reading so many books over the years and I've just always been into history. So when the opportunity presented itself, I had to go for it. And um, <clears throat> in the state of Georgia, I think it's part of the Hope Scholarship. Um, they offer, <coughs> excuse me, they offer free tuition. You can, when you retire, you can qualify for a scholarship to go to college for free and you only have to buy your books. So that was step one. Um, but then there's a lot of other, at my age, there's a lot of other ingredients that go into this. Step one was finding out I could go to college for free. And, you know, I mean, I've got all my kids out of the house, but I still can't, um, afford $2,000 per semester for college. Mm -hmm. But I had, mm -hmm. I have good health. So, I mean, like my husband had like four surgeries in the past half a dozen years. So he, it would have been hard for him to do it, but I've got mm -hmm. good health. I've got transportation. The college is in a close proximity to me. And <clears throat> uh, Janet, I've got have, it too. We're giving yeah. each other frogs in the throat. <laughs> And during the dawn of COVID, a sneeze and like a throat clearing's like, ah! But you know, something that you have taught, and I am i never went to a formal college either. I didn't go to formal high school. Um, and I really do wanna go back and get my GED. It's something that I'm, I'm very much seeking um, in the world. And I have to say that I'm really excited because you taught Alex Clark and I, the producer, um, about all these colleges in different states in our country that actually have this program in place. And I had no idea about it. So if you go to our website at thedrewbarrymoreshow.com, 
what will happen is you're gonna find a list and the AARP also has a list on their website, but come on over to ours if you like, and we're gonna give a full comprehensive list of every state that provides this free tuition to people that I have to say, honestly, I didn't know about this. So um, Janet, you've taught us something in this process and um, I just think your story is so amazing that you seek knowledge. You're a history buff, and I believe that's what you got your degree in? Yes, um, world history. I wanted to learn everything about the whole world. <laughs> well, I think that you are an example to the world of someone, and another detail that I have to say I discussed with uh, Alex, and I think we could all benefit from this, is that when you went into it, you had a different mentality because I heard that you would see the younger students and you would know that they were kind of like nervous about everything and you were on the other side and had lived life. Can you tell me about that really quickly? It, I, I'm doing, it was a labor of love for me and I enjoyed every minute th this uh, in a four year college that's right down the road from me. Um, it was easy access and the kids there were under a lot of stress. I felt so badly for the kids that are carrying a full load of four and five classes per semester, plus working, plus having, you know, social relationships. And I was just taking two uh, classes per semester, but then I was also babysitting my youngest grandson at the time, two days a week. So that was kind of like a full-time job. I mean, a part-time job, but yeah, it, I, I felt for the kids that were carrying a full load I just think it's so amazing because when you're younger, in some ways you think you're immortal and invincible, which is super fun, but you also don't know because you're not old enough to have that calm wisdom. So when you would look at these young students and their stress and have the benefit of having lived a full life and choosing to create this legacy of everyone you saw in that video, there was something about your interpretation of watching them with your life experience that I had a real takeaway from. And I just think you're so amazing. And we wanted to make sure you have a wardrobe to go out there and flaunt that degree so that no matter where you choose to go or what you choose to do <laughs> with this fabulous degree, Talbot's is actually giving a $5,000 gift card to you. Are and you kidding me? a personal styling appointment so that you can go out there and work that degree. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I pulled my cord loose. <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, Janet, it's about pulling cords and crying. This is great. I love this segment. Oh, my stars. Thank you. That, that's amazing. Thank you so much. No, Janet, you're so, amazing. So